这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这 We made it! Look! Are you excited? Uh, I heard that there's a uh, joke shop nearby that we can get uh, stuff in. Uh, what do you think of P -P -P Portsmouth, Megan? Oh, you know, it's very kind of urban, very nice, very kind of city. And look at this shop, there's like lots of shoes. I like those ones. Which ones? The sparkly bros. This lion's a bit scary. I think you look really good in this one. This one? Yeah, really nice. Very light fashion. Um, I don't know if lace is really my thing. Oh, it's for The Wizard of Oz. That's a good movie. Can we go and see it? We could do. Oh no, we can't. It's on the 18th to the 29th of October. And you know what the 29th of October is? What's the 29th of October? It's going to represent the history of horror. Yeah. It's like a performative seminar on the history of horror movies. And it's going to be like really um, uh, educational and spooky. So we're in a British Heart Foundation and we wanted to get Glenn a, a present. So we, we know she really likes dogs. So we found her this dog lover's adult colouring book. I think, think she'll really like nice. it. Oh, look, but all of your favourites, like, well, I think the that's pig. trying to be the pig from American Saw. Horror uh, or American Horror Story, yeah. but, you know, um, uh, Stella Black, um, Hellraiser. Yeah. I think that's trying to be. Oh, look, Annabelle! Oh, my goodness. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Right, hockey mask. They must have one. Have you found it? <laughs> Look at what we got. We're now going to refer to this forever and ever. Oh, I present Bible. to you the Chronicle of the Cinema. With me from Cinema. Oh. Wait, is it the right one? It says... The oh, it keeps changing. The Nutcracker. But we're not in that, are we? Hi! How are you? Sophie, how does it feel? Because the stage is at a slant, it feels like you're constantly going to fall over. Just to get um, an idea of the gravitational pull. I think you demonstrated that very well. Where do we give the tech thing we to? We need to put it on a stick or something. A stick? Do you... Where's the... You said you had one. I've got a memory card. Is that the same? So, um, we're about to do our pre-show warm-up. We always do it to Debbie Gibson because she's, like, our favourite singer. And... I hope you didn't want to return it, but... Uh, didn't want you to get embarrassed. Thanks, Sophie. That's all right. So, like I was saying, we're doing to um, going to do a warm up to um, Debbie Gibson, Electric Youth. It's one of our favourite Debbies, and um, I just think you know, if you wanted to join in, feel free. Because it's also a really good like exercise routine. That's how we keep so trim because we're always like you know on the go. Um, you know, just the girls in the city, cosmopolitan girls. You know, just doing yoga and exercises.
had to leave. Joe wanted us to go and put this mine hair, what we're doing. <laughs> so, you okay? Yeah, I've got old lipstick on it. Can I have a bit? Yeah. I'm a social asthmatic. <sighs> So, um, hopefully we're all feeling sufficiently warm now. And because we're doing some singing this show as well, we thought we'd do some vocal exercises for you all. So, you know, if you're like doing open mic night or something, or, you know, doing a cover on SoundCloud or something, it's really good to like, you know, just breathe and practice your voice. So, first we're gonna do what we call the Friday 13th, which is where... It's like the sound. You yeah, know, you yeah, know the sound. You know it, you know it. So, but make sure you really engage your diaphragm. It's like... <laughs> it's got to go into your stomach. You're not breathing so your shoulders go up, because that's silly. You need to breathe in your tummy. Yeah. What's called a diaphragm. Yeah. So, let's just do some breathing first. So, okay. we'll take it. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Feel your tummy going out. Hold. Two, three, four. Out on a hiss. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really good, guys. One more time. In, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, out on the hips, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so go right in with the Friday 13. So the noise is, and just really like spit it out, like feel the words going out. Because it, it, it kind of doubles up in enunciation as yeah, well. Yeah, it's very there. So just feel your diaphragm, feel your enunciation, and after three, one, two, three. for a minute. I'm just a bit upset because my mum and Oscar were supposed to come tonight but well, they, my mum can't come anymore so I guess she's got plans and uh, I guess that means Oscar can't come too because he can't drive and all the trains are cancelled and he's only 14 so I guess he can't come by himself. I'm just really disappointed because I really wanted them both to see what I've been doing. And this is like one of the only under 18 shows that we do. And it just, you know, I feel a bit sad, but I'm still going to turn it out for all of you. And I'm still going to put on a really good show. So, happy faces. And I guess I'll see all of you out there anyway. at the King's Theatre. They've only just opened the doors and people are arriving. <laughs> oh, getting excited. I'm really nervous. Oh, I got a text message. Are you alright? I think so. I don't know. I think you might have to go upstairs. Hello, this is our friends, Jack and Sarah. Keith, hello. I thought I'd like to shut the door then. Sorry, Glenn. Smile. Uh, bye, Sophie. I'm Megan. <laughs> and, uh, we really like movies. <laughs> so, tonight is House of Burlesque, and as you can see, I've dressed up a bit burlesque. Murdering, murdering. Then you scream. Really loud. 
Say mm -hmm.